Police are asking for your help tonight after a woman was found murdered in her apartment in historic Fells Point. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager joins us now with more on what we know about the crime tonight. Jeff? Kelly, police have a mystery on their hands, and they're hoping the victim's friends and co-workers will provide them with information that can help them isolate when she was last seen alive. Detectives have spent hours at this apartment on South Bond Street looking for any evidence that could lead them to a killer. In a city hardened by homicides, this one happened in Fells Point, where cobblestone streets, night spots, and a nearby historic bakery all provide an unlikely setting for murder. There was tons of police cars and ambulance and everybody was around here. I asked my neighbor what's going on and that's what they told me. They found a girl that was stabbed for like three days. Police say they made the gruesome discovery inside one of the apartments after someone flagged down a marked patrol car as it passed by late Monday evening. There was a concerned citizen who wanted to report that she hadn't seen her friend in quite some time. Officers responded to the dwelling and with the assistance of Baltimore City Fire Department made entry into the dwelling where unfortunately we found the victim dead. The victim was 40 years old and she had suffered trauma to the body. The police are saying little more, leaving those who live in the neighborhood uneasy at best with the killer still at large. I have a few friends that live in that building, so I haven't caught up with any of them this afternoon yet, but I just have heard very little. There's stuff on Facebook right now talking about, like, you know, speculations of somebody that she knew, so I, I don't know anything. It's a point supported by investigators who don't appear concerned that the killer could pose a threat to the public at large. At this point, it doesn't appear to be random, and our detectives are examining some very, very strong leads in this case. While police aren't releasing the victim's identity, they're asking anyone who knew her, those who worked with her, or anyone who heard anything out of the ordinary in the 700 block of South Bond Street in recent days to give them a call. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. Meanwhile, tonight, Baltimore City Police are investigating another murder, this time in Fells Point. The victim, a female employee at a popular upscale restaurant. Police say she was found in an apartment in the 700 block of South Bond Street in Fells Point. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims is live in Fells Point tonight with more on the case. Barry. Stan, it was a worried co-worker who flagged down police and asked them to check on a friend. And that's what led to the discovery. Baltimore officers back on South Bond Street in Fells Point, continuing a murder investigation. A concerned co-worker who had not heard from the 40-year-old victim in several days contacted police Monday night. The officers responded to a senseless act of violence. At about 10.30 p.m., officers were flagged down in the 700 block of South Bond Street. Uh, there was a concerned citizen who wanted to report that she hadn't seen her friend in quite some time. With help from city firefighters, police entered an apartment the woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Neighbors soon noticed a growing number of police cars. It was tons of police cars and ambulance and everybody was around here. I asked my neighbor what's going on and that's what they told me. They found a girl dead. Very chaotic, so yeah, I didn't know her, um, but it's really sad. It's shocking, uh, especially for being very close to our house. Um, it's definitely put me on more of an alert. At this point, police are not revealing exactly how the woman died. She sustained uh, trauma to the body. I don't want to get to the specifics of the case. According to social media, the victim worked at Pazzo in downtown. A statement from the restaurant described her as a bubbly, vibrant, gracious, and intelligent young woman. We were blessed to have known her for three years. She was called a popular server and beloved team member. The statement concluded, we are incredibly sad and will miss her greatly. Police think they have strong clues in solving this murder. So our detectives are in the very earliest stages of this investigation. But at this point, it doesn't appear to be random, and our detectives are examining some very, very strong leads in this case. As police continue their investigation, they're asking anyone who saw anything suspicious or heard anything suspicious or who may have any information to contact them. Reporting live from Fells Point, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Murder mystery. Baltimore police are looking for a motive and suspects after a woman is found dead inside her home in Fells Point. WJZ is live. Rochelle Ritchie has more on the investigation. Rochelle? Well, Denise, police have not released the name of that woman who was found murdered inside of her apartment, but we have learned she worked very close in the area. It's an unusual scene on Bond Street in Fells Point. At about 10.30 p.m., officers were flagged down in the 700 block of South Bond Street. Uh, there was a concerned citizen who wanted to report that she hadn't seen her friend in quite some time. 
officers responded to the dwelling and with the assistance of Baltimore City Fire Department made entry into the dwelling. Inside, Baltimore City police officers find a 40-year-old woman dead, her death now being investigated as a homicide. It's pretty stunning to me because, like I say, I walk up and down this block often. Police say she had trauma to her upper body. Uh, detectives have been working diligently since the onset of this case to examine all the circumstances and collect as much evidence as they can. People who live, work, and walk in this Fells Point neighborhood say it's surprising to see police tape surrounding one of the homes and homicide detectives on the scene to investigate a murder. I've been there working down there for years and I, we never had a problem like that down there. It's a big surprise. It's terrible news. Hear it. While the news is disturbing, the murder seems to be targeted. At this point, it doesn't appear to be random, and our detectives are examining some very, very strong leads in this case. That was Rochelle Ritchie reporting, and we have confirmed that the victim was a server at Pazzo. Police are not revealing how she died. She was a pro about taking care of people in the restaurant industry. Claudia Perotti worked at Pazzo and Harbor East for three years. Police have identified her as the woman found dead in her apartment just a couple of blocks away. ABC 2 News' Cheryl Connor joins us now with more on that case tonight. Cheryl? Kelly and Jamie, at least one neighbor is concerned following comments Claudia Perotti apparently made about her boyfriend who lived with her. Flowers are placed where Claudia Perotti walked into her Fells Point apartment for the last time. Here she is, second from the left, with friends and co-workers. As soon as they opened the door right away, it's like, please, everybody leave, don't touch anything. Yusuf Abdel works for the landlord where Perotti lived and showed us her door. Police used force to get in on Monday night. The 40-year-old's co-workers were concerned after she didn't show up to work for several days. They went to her apartment and flagged down officers. When they came, they, they, they thought like both of them going to be inside, but it was only her laying on the floor. Police went in. Friends took a step back. Perotti could walk to Pazzo, where she was a server for three years and trusted by the owner with wedding parties. She was a person who was often just assigned to the family, assigned to that bride to make sure that they felt good, that they felt cared for. Abdel says Perotti lived with her boyfriend in their apartment on Bond Street for about six months. Police say they have good leads in the case. Friends may bring us in closer. She told her friends at work that uh, her boyfriend actually, uh, she's about to break up with her boyfriend and uh, he's acting funny or whatever. No one is named as a person of interest. Abdel says he hasn't seen the boyfriend for several days. The last time it was, I think, Thursday or maybe Friday. And I was like, hey, how you doing, man? And he just didn't say nothing. He just like went straight in there and then went down with some bags. A detective was a few doors down. Inside, the manager of the get down is providing video recordings to see if it helps the investigation. The world goes round by the quote unquote little people. You know what? And we're all little people when you have perspective on yourself. Claudia always had perspective on herself. And police tell us Claudia Perotti suffered trauma to her upper body. She was from Peru. We're told her father is in the process of traveling back to Baltimore. Cheryl Connor, ABC2 News. But first here, new on the night beat tonight, a man wanted for murder in Maryland could be hiding out right here in San Antonio. Take a good look at this man's picture. The Bear County Sheriff's Office tells us 29-year-old Juan Morales, who also goes by Jose Lopez, is accused of stabbing and killing a woman on October 4th. He was last seen on October 3rd in Baltimore. Baltimore police believe Morales came to San Antonio. If you've seen this man, you're asked to call police. Good evening, I'm Christian Schaefer. We start tonight at 6.30 with new developments in the murder of a woman found dead in her apartment in Fells Point. Police have named a suspect. They say this man, Juan Morales, is responsible for the death of Claudia Perotti. Morales has not been arrested. Right now he's on the run from police and investigators believe it might be in the San Antonio, Texas area. Perotti was found dead in her apartment along South Bond Street. Coworkers contacted police after she didn't show up to her waitressing job for several days. When officers entered her home, they found the 40-year-old had been stabbed to death. 